Missing for five days. A new twist today in the case of a missing Rockford man, 29-year-old David Vanderlaan. Friends trying to search for him near White's Bridge in Ionia County were forced out of the area by police. 24-hour news state's Mark Thompson is live. He's been on top of the story all day long talking to the man's friends. Mark, what's the latest? Well, Susie, uh, White's Bridge is just behind me here in rural Ionia County. Still no sign of 29-year-old David Vanderlaan. Some of his friends are actually out here right now searching for him. There's also been police out here today searching for him. And the three men who were, here, were with him on Friday night have been out here as well assisting police. But the more they look, it seems like the more questions turn up. Friends of David Vanderlaan organized an independent search party this morning to look for the 29-year-old. We have searched the river upstream all the way to the dam. It was dark late Friday night when police say Vanderlaan, along with two other men and a pregnant female, came out to this rural area in Ionia County looking for marijuana growing in the woods. They spotted headlights and, thinking that it could be police, got scared and took off in different directions near the White's Bridge. The others made it back to Vanderlaan's van. David did not. And everyone waited for him up here by the bridge until the sunlight came up and he never came back to his van and he's been being searched for since. Investigators say the two men purchased flashlights and came back out to the area Saturday night to look for Vanderlaan but did not inform Rockford police until Sunday. Ionia County got involved as well, searching the shallow river with boats and tracking the area with dogs. Found some socks and, and part of a t-shirt along the river bank that may or may not be related. Uh, right now we're treating it as though they may be related. And Vanderlaan, who's 5'6", 180, was last seen wearing blue jeans, a black sweatshirt, and tap-out baseball cap. Independent bloodhounds were brought in as well, but could not pick up his scent or any signs of a body, leaving police, along with friends and family, puzzled as to what may have happened. I have no idea. He, it's just way beyond his character to be missing for this many days without getting a hold of me or his family or anybody and not having his vehicle. And Sheriff Dennis says that he's not aware of any outstanding warrants, but he says that it's not out of the possibility that Vanderlaan could simply just be hiding from police. Uh, they say right now their primary goal, however, is to make sure that he is safe. All, all of the people involved are from the Rockford area, and Vanderlaan is married with three children. We're live in Ionia County, Mark Thompson, 24-hour news Eight.